hey you guys welcome back to another vlog i think i'm gonna do this as a weekly vlog um so yeah just hang out with me even though today's thursday we're gonna start the vlog on a thursday i don't even know what day it is um i just made my breakfast i made overnight oats i've really been enjoying overnight oats i thought i wouldn't like them because of the texture but it's actually really good so it's thursday morning and um I just got in from the gym and on my agenda for today I have a therapy appointment here in like the next 20 minutes or so at 10 o'clock um I feel like every time I meet with my therapist I have like 20 million updates to give her <laughs> in the last month so I'm excited to talk with her um I've been going to therapy for over a year at this point I'm so glad that I do because I've seen a really tremendous amount of growth in myself in this past year. So if you've been thinking about going to therapy, go for it. I found my therapist on therapyforblackgirls.com, that website. So if you're looking for a woman of color, I think there's like men therapists on there too. Um, but if you're looking, if you're looking for a therapist that looks like you, that's going to understand the life struggles that you're going through if you're a black girl latina whatever get on there because i talk about my therapist and she's been the best um these oats taste so good also while i was at the gym i secured my ticket for the beyonce concert <laughs> ah! so one of my um friends that i actually met at the gym hey girl she was able to get me in contact with someone that was selling a ticket. We're all going together. I'm so excited. And now I have to now I have to plan an outfit. I have no idea what I'm going to wear. And she's going to be here October 1st. And today is September 20th. So, or the 21st, I think. Whatever I do, I need to pick an outfit today. That is on the agenda to research, put together outfit ideas, and order something today so I can have it in time for the concert next week. I don't know what I want to wear. I'm so excited though. Um, a few other things that I want to get done today. I want to wash my hair. Um, I also I also want to go to Best Buy and look at getting a replacement for this Sony ZV-1. This one's broken so I think I'm just going to buy a new one. I don't feel like waiting to repair this and I feel like I might as well just get a new one. If I want to get this fixed in the future I will. But at this moment I want a new camera now like I don't want to wait for weeks for that to get fixed so yeah I just really don't feel like waiting weeks for that camera to get fixed because I'll have to mail it off and then they'll have to assess it and then they'll have to fix whatever the issue is and then mail it back to me I'm not trying to do all that I'm not so I just move on and buy a new one. So my camera just got delivered. I ended up ordering it on Amazon because um, I ended up ordering it on Amazon because the Best Buy near me did well. They only had one in stock, and it was a hundred dollars cheaper on Amazon. Um, I only need the camera. I don't need like the little creator kit that it comes with because I already have all that stuff. So I just needed the camera. I didn't need a little tripod or anything like that. So I've got another <laughs> another Sony ZV-1. Um, that was one I had before, like I showed you, and I broke it. And so I just I bought a new one. Um, I don't know if it comes with the little microphone attachment because I have that for the other one, but I can't find it right now. So I don't know. What is this? I would love if it came with one. Oh, it did. I thought it wasn't going to come with a microphone. But this is the cute little attachment. This one. Oh, okay. They actually included a battery. I think the other one did include a battery. It just did not include the charger, which is fine. I had to buy the charger separately. And I also have backup batteries as well. Oh, so cute. Mmm. I missed you so I'm gonna be vlogging on this from now on um, I'll have to figure out what I want to put for my settings again because I don't remember what the settings were on my other 
when I had the other one, but I never know how to like slide this on. There we go. This camera is perfect if, um, how do you turn the thing on? It's perfect for vlogging. That's why I like it. I'm gonna have to do all the setting up of it. just take me to the camera yes this is it so I don't have a memory card in here yet but what I really like about this one is that it's just so easy to hold and it has autofocus I think I need to turn that on um but yeah the quality is just really really good I'm a fan of Sony and Canon I know some people are like one or the other but I really like both so I'm gonna get this charged up and I probably will continue the rest of the vlog on this camera hey new camera I got my new camera set up I love this quality so much better than the other one for vlogging so I don't know if I'm zoomed in or zoomed out there we go yeah this one just mm, the quality is much better to me for vlogging the other one great for sit down videos but this is just so much easier to hold. Oh my gosh. I like this so much more. I just feel like the, the quality is like more crisp. I don't know what it is. It just feels that way. So this is perfect because I can take it with me like everywhere. The other one is just too big to vlog on, like especially in public. Um, so I'm going to run upstairs because I want to show you guys the new purse I got. I picked up a new bag today from TJ Maxx and this is from Steve Madden this is really the size bag that I was looking for because I don't like carrying big purses but I needed something bigger than my little coach purse I have now because I can't fit my camera in there and my phone and my keys and my wallet like all that so this is the perfect size for me to be able to fit everything in there and I just thought this was so cute I really like the color. I like that it has a black on there, so it's going to go with everything. But yeah, this is just a new bag that I got. Um, it was only 30 bucks too. Oh, and it comes with a strap. It comes with a strap to carry on your shoulder if you want to. It has this little case, which I think is for if you want to put your AirPods in there. So it looks like that, but I, I mean, I need new AirPods anyway, but... Yeah, this is a cute little bag I got, so I'll be carrying that a lot more now. And it's not too big to where, like, it's going to be heavy. That's my thing with big bags. Like, it just, it's too heavy, and then it hurts my shoulder, and I don't want to, I don't want to carry it. So, you guys can be in my, you guys can be in my vlog. Um, I don't really care for tote bags much. Not really. I don't like big purses in general. I like smaller purses because I don't want to carry something heavy but I don't know if this is considered a tote I don't know what this is considered but it was cute I like it how it has these handles and then it has the strap so this is about as big of a bag that I want because I ain't trying to carry no big old suitcase it's just mm -mm. so say hi to my vlog I'm gonna post on YouTube a whole lot more now that I have this good morning you guys it's Saturday morning and it's about nine o'clock I've been up for a while I already took my shower I did my skincare and I'm about to make my bed um, in a little bit I have to finish getting ready and then Maya has a volleyball game this morning at 10 40 so we're gonna go to that but first we do want to go to Starbucks so um, we're gonna get ready and like head out but I wanted to show you really quickly the stuff I used for my shower this morning um, and for like my body care routine because I feel like I have found some really good products my skin looks so good so glowy like I'm obsessed I also noticed that this morning I was looking in the mirror when I was putting my body oil on and I was looking at my back and my back has improved so much like I really had bad I used to have a lot of breakouts on my back and my shoulders and I think a lot of that was from 
maybe the hair products I was using. I don't know, but it has cleared up so much. My skin looks so smooth. Like the dark marks are faded so freaking much. So I'm so happy about that. So I want to show you what I've been using because I've been I've just been using it, not really thinking much about it and not even paying attention to how my skin has been doing. I've just been using the stuff I bought and it actually has been working. When I'm in the shower, um, for my showering routine, I feel like I have a million steps that I do in the shower. So this is the order that I cleanse. I always start my showers off by cleansing with a bar of soap. I use a dial bar so I like to double cleanse and I've noticed that's really made a difference in like body odor and like the appearance of my skin. Like I feel like I don't ever really get body odor as much anymore. Um, partly because of I've been double cleansing. So I use a dial body. I use a dial bar soap and then after I do the bar soap then I will follow up with another body wash. After I do the cleanse with the bar soap, I will follow up with one of these two body washes. So I like the Naturium line. I have the Perfector Salicylic Acid Body Wash and then I also have the Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash. This one I've, I've probably used like two or three of these so I've been using this for a while. The other one I have just recently picked up. Um, but I'm loving it so far and I'm noticing a difference, like a visible difference when I get out of the shower. It's crazy. So I will follow up with one of these and I also exfoliate. So I use exfoliating hand gloves when I'm in the shower and I will put this body wash in that and exfoliate with it. And what the I think what the key is and what really helps is letting the body wash sit on your body for some time before you rinse it off because that gives it a chance to work. Because if you're just putting it on and then rinsing it off immediately, you're not really getting the benefits of it. And so um, these are my favorites. These don't really have a scent to them to me. They don't smell like anything. Yeah, okay, they're fragrance free. It says it on here. Um, so I will do this with my exfoliating gloves next after the bar soap. And then after I do all of that um, and exfoliate, I will do like sh any shaving or anything like that. And then I follow up last with a scented body wash if I feel like it. So I always do the scented one last because I don't really feel like the scented body washes get you clean for real for real <laughs> I feel like they just smell good so I use that um, right now I have the Saltaire one let me grab it okay so this this is a scented body wash that I'm using right now um, it's the pink beach skin softening serum body wash this smells really good, but I don't know that it does much for like getting you clean, like getting the dirt and grime off your body. So I will use this last. And then um, sometimes I'll have like other scented ones, but that's what I do in the shower. I feel like I have a whole step routine. I also do not use loofahs anymore. Um, I had learned, I don't know, probably a few months ago that even if you replace loofahs, they're not really that great at like getting your body clean and they hold a lot of bacteria in them so I don't use loofahs anymore for real for real um I have one in my shower but it doesn't get used and then I really want to get an African net sponge I've had one in the past but I don't have one right now so I want to get one because I love how that makes your skin look it's so exfoliating and just mm, chef's kiss so that is my in shower routine once I get out of the shower I liked <laughs> I feel like my body care routine is a bajillion steps but it just really makes your skin it just makes my skin feel good I feel like it looks good it looks healthy bright all of that so what I've been using when I get out of the shower <clears throat> um I do a few things so I put on lotion first I don't know if you're supposed to do lotion first or body oil first in my mind it makes sense to do a lotion first and then a body oil because the body oil will seal in the moisture from the lotion that you use so that's my thinking and that's what I do so when I get out of the shower I will do my body lotion first and then I'll do a body oil for my lotion I've been pretty faithful to the EOS or EOS lotion this Shea Better 24-hour moisture I just really love the way this smells 
This is the vanilla cashmere scent and it's my favorite. I have the pink one, but I don't love it as much. But this makes my skin feel really, really good. I will either use this or I like the Nivea body lotions too. And then for lotion, I will also use this Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I like this one too. The scent for this one to me is really strong, so I don't use it all over my body. I will just use it like on my legs um, and like my lower back and stuff because I, I don't want my whole body to smell like this. But I've had this one. I've had multiple of these. This one is almost gone. I really like the Sol de Janeiro product, so I will use that or the EOS lotion. And then I follow up with a body oil. So I've been using this um, Honey Skin Bio Pure. This is like almost gone. Um, I've been using this. I really like this. I bought this on Amazon. Um, it helps to improve your skin tone, reduce or reverse signs of aging, diminish the appearance of scars and stretch marks. I've noticed that stretch marks on my stomach are a little bit lighter, so I love that. Um, I also have stretch marks on my chest, but they're not super noticeable. For my lady area, I use this Pretty Kitty um, body oil, and I bought this from a girl I saw on TikTok. I got influenced. She's an esthetician, I believe, and she was showing like her clients before and afters, so I went and bought this. I will try to put her information in the description box because um, I like that so far and I just bought the one ounce I think I only bought the smaller size just to try it out but it comes in a bigger size too and then I just started using this one by we the people so this is a featherweight hydrating body gloss and it smells so good it smells like orange blossom and this I noticed a visible difference after I put this on this is just the small version um they because i got it in a little kit so i'm gonna try this out and see how i like that little three range the little range of products because i don't want to buy the full size if i don't know if i like it yet i've been using the Versed backup plan acne control body mist it has tea tree oil and witch hazel in it this is a spray um Versed sent this to me in a pr package and they sent me like a few other body care products. I've been spraying this on my back and I do think it's been helping. Um, it has 2% salicylic acid in it and I just spray it on, let it dry. I do this as the last step. Um, I don't know when I'm supposed to do it. It doesn't say like, what, what are you doing? So I just do it last, but those are things I've been using on my body and I feel like my skin looks so much better and it just feels moisturized i don't feel dry all the time because i'm not a fan of looking ashy or dry so that was that let me go ahead and finish getting ready because i'm over here rambling and we have to get going so maya's game is over it was a very close very close match uh they won just like i knew they would you can't tell it's disgusting outside so i'm about to head home I don't know what I'm gonna do today, to be honest. It's still kind of early. It's 11.45 and I don't, my first instinct is to go shopping, but let's be for real. Do I need to go buy anything? No, I do not. No, I do not. I have some content that I wanna do next week that I wanna kind of like plan out and like write the scripts for and all that oh not me rolling down my window um also i just kind of want to maybe relax today maybe i'll order something no i ordered wings last night i don't need to order anything today i maybe i'll just like cozy up on the couch cozy up on the couch my hair survived um i i put this hat on and then i had my hair tucked into my hoodie so that it would not get wet because girl i'm not playing husband later on in the future i'm getting married slowly <laughs> yeah i'm getting married at the i got my new i got my new vlog camera say hi <laughs> not weird. i know okay so i had this camera already but i broke it it broke yeah like it was messed up and so i just bought a new one but i'm about to start vlogging because i like this one better because it just <laughs> Okay, I look, look, I did not, 
I didn't want to. I didn't want to have to send the other one off and then like wait for it to be fixed. Like it was just doing too much. Like uh, they was they was doing too much. I'm not gonna lie. Huh? I'm not gonna lie. What? I said I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not That's gonna what lie. I'm saying. Convenience. When I, ever, when I buy stuff, I never send it back. I'm not yeah. Gonna lie. Like girl. Hey you guys, happy Sunday. I'm just popping in to say hey. Um, not a whole lot is going on today. I actually woke up at 4.30 this morning. Yeah, I know, on a Sunday. So I went to the gym this morning about 7.45. When I got home from the gym, I just took a shower and got ready. I got ready on TikTok Live, so if you were on that live, hey. Um, and I had to film some content today for TikTok for a bed sheets brand. So I was working on that this afternoon. And now it's like... I feel like it's almost two o'clock and I've been up a very long time and I'm starting to get tired, but I wanted to re I wanted to film a YouTube video today and I feel like I might as well because I'm already dressed. You know, like to me that makes sense, like take advantage of already being ready. So I think I'm gonna record a video now. So I don't know if that will go up before or after this vlog, but what that video is gonna be is how I started my fitness journey. I think that would be a helpful video to people. A lot of people ask me how to get started, so why not make a video about it? So, well, honestly, I'm getting tired and I'm hungry, but I don't know what to eat. Like, I'm tired of being hungry and not knowing what to eat. Nothing sounds good. Like, nothing at all sounds good. And I know I need to eat something because all I've eaten today was breakfast, which I had some scrambled eggs and a little mini bagel. And then I ate some leftover mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A and that was like three bites. So I haven't ate since like 10 this morning. I don't know what sounds good. This is, I, hate, I feel like I get decision fatigue. Like I get tired of having to constantly make choices about things. Like I just want someone else to make choices for me. <laughs> um, but aside from that, I, oh my God, it's like my hair is stuck in my face. I really like how my makeup turned out today. My hair turned out cute. So I'm just going to take advantage of being ready and we're going to record a video. So I'll check in with you guys once I'm done doing that. I'm about to <laughs> go to the grocery store to get a few things for the kids lunch this week because they just need a couple of things. I want to get something for dinner because tonight is the tell all for 90 day fiance before the 90 days. And normally my like Sunday ritual is to watch 90 day fiance and have sushi. So I think that's, I think that's what I'm going to get, but I don't really I don't feel like going to the store. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> It was Thursday and it is not Thursday it's definitely Monday and I am getting my morning started well I should say I already started my morning earlier today um, I got up and dropped the kids off at school and then I went for a walk this morning I did my 30 minutes of cardio I don't know if I talked about that um, that I challenged myself for 30 days to do 30 minutes of cardio every single day so today is day six of that. Um, so I did a 30 minute walk and then this morning I just got done making breakfast. Um, I just, I made breakfast. I made some scrambled eggs and just some little protein pancakes. And there was an honor active launch this morning um, for their birthday collection, so I got some things from that collection, which I'm so excited to get because the colors are so pretty. 
so I'm excited for that to come. But now, I'm on my way to Trader Joe's. I want to get some fresh flowers for my nightstand. I usually get fresh flowers every week, and I didn't get any last week. I don't know why. I think the only day I could get to Trader Joe's was Sunday, and I refuse to go on a Sunday. So, I just didn't go. Um, but now the flowers that are on my nightstand currently are so crusty. <laughs> They're so crusty, and I need to get some new ones. So that's what I'm on my way to do. And I think also, once I get to Trader Joe's, I'm going to get something for dinner tonight too. So... got back in from Trader Joe's side note I thought I was going I thought I was going to Trader Joe's at a time that it might be less busy but maybe it's just the location that I'm at where it's always busy because it's Monday like why am I at work but I did see a lot of like moms and old people in there so that makes sense but I picked up some roses I wanted I wanted to get red this week because I don't know I just haven't had a I haven't had red roses in a long time so got some red roses and I got some baby's breath to put with those and then I just grabbed a couple of things while I was in there I didn't really feel like spending a long time looking so I just grabbed a couple things um, to try the first thing being this pumpkin brioche twist it's like pumpkin brioche bread and I thought this looked so good um, I'm gonna make French toast with this and I feel like it's gonna turn out delicious I picked up I have a Greek salad I'm gonna have this for lunch today and then I got these mini chicken tacos I don't know if I've had these before I can't remember but this is something quick that I can make for the kids if they want a snack or whatever and then for dinner tonight we're gonna do like I need to stop saying like so much. Um, oh, for dinner tonight, I want to do like Asian themed. So I got the mandarin orange chicken and I got some mini wontons to go with it. And then I'll make some steamed rice. And then I also picked up this Korean inspired bulgogi beef with fried rice and kimchi. And this just sounded really good, so I wanted to try it. I love Korean barbecue, so I hope it tastes good. And then I just got some pasta. I can make this for lunch, like later on in the week, and like add some chicken or some shrimp to it. Um, sorry, I'm like looking at something outside. But I can add some chicken or some shrimp to this for lunch later this week. So I just got a couple things. I I really like going to Trader Joe's for frozen items. Because I don't find this kind of stuff anywhere else. So I'm going to put this away. And then for the rest of today, I'm going to just be working on my computer, editing some stuff for YouTube. And then I also have like TikTok stuff I have to edit. So it's just going to be a slow afternoon editing. Oh, yeah. You can do I need. I got some stuff I need to sell too. I'm not sure, man. Okay, so this is the order. It's the ice matcha latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam, coconut milk, light ice, two pumps of chai, and two pumps of white mocha. This is good. Two pumps of chai. Okay, I like chai and I like white mocha. Yeah, the, that's going to give it that sweetness and you're going to be able to taste the chai in here. The chai and the matcha go really well together. Like they, they're like, those flavors are good with each other. I might have to get a call. Yeah, I get a little one. It to me it tastes better with oat milk, but the coconut milk is good too. It's like very light and refreshing. It's a matcha green tea. Yeah, no, it's an iced matcha latte. Oh. It's not tea. Oh. Does it have coffee in it? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a picture of the order so you can if you want to try it but it's good it's really good I don't know I'm scared you need to just get a tall 
or if they have get a tall and then you can determine your thoughts I'm gonna be like excuse me can I try this and if I don't like it put it back then you can determine <laughs> what you think of it It is Tuesday morning. I'm just eating something real quick before I head to the gym because it's about to be 10 o'clock and I'm gonna go hit legs and glutes today. And I'm feeling a little hungry now so I don't wanna do my workout on an empty stomach. Um, I just toasted a little mini bagel. I am about to head to the gym. I kinda just took it really easy, real slow this morning because no, I've been feeling like I'm doing too much and I don't know if that probably sounds like girl what you don't even have a job but I was thinking about this last night how for the past like five years I've been going hard no breaks like been going through a lot at the same time and I think my body is thanking me for just kind of taking things slow right now like I'm always on the go, I'm always doing something, doing a million things at a time. And for the first time in my life, I don't have a million things going on. I mean, I have some things going on, but it's not um, overwhelming, you know what I mean? Like previously, I remember back to, uh, I remember back in 2019, when I started my fitness journey, I was like in the middle of my fitness journey. But at that same time, I was also working full time. I was going to school full time and trying to do like a fitness journey. Like that was just a lot going on. Plus being a mom of two, a single mom of that, girl, I was doing a lot. And ever since then, I've just been going, going, going. I'm always having things on my plate, always doing something. And right now, it feels good to just have one job. You guys know how I talked about in my previous video how I got laid off and so like I was working a full-time nine-to-five job but also being a content creator so I had two jobs basically and now it feels like I can take a deep breath I can breathe and I only have one job to do um, so I'm really just trying to soak in this moment of my life as overwhelming as it is to not have a nine-to-five job for the first time like in a very long time I still feel peace because I know everything's gonna work out but yeah it is a little overwhelming because like I'm thinking of all the things I need to do but I'm also feeling like this is a chance for me to take a step back and really focus on myself and feel better internally so I'm just gonna go with it I'm just gonna go with it I'm not gonna try to fill my days with 20 million things to do like one of the things I think is important especially as black women is to rest like resting is productive as well like you don't always have to be doing something and I think that's like why I went back to school five years ago when you think about it I saw the, I don't know if you guys saw this TikTok where it's like when black women get bored they go back to school and it's like or they you know they're like do some major change in their life and I just want to take this time of my life to feel like I want this time of my life to be soft and with ease and I don't want to feel a whole lot of stress and I don't want to feel pulled and 20 million different directions so i'm just gonna lean into that and maybe i'll do a whole entire video on that because i've gotten a few comments on my dms um from people who are like you live oh people are like oh you live such a, such a soft life and i love how you take care of yourself and i love how you make time for yourself so i think i want to do a video on that because when i tell you i just put myself in the last we don't do that no more. So I'm gonna finish my breakfast and then I need to make my pre-workout. Oh my god. And then we're gonna go to the gym. Ah. 